Hi everyone, I'm Parashan Hall, show producer at Service Nation, and welcome to another episode of Service Nation News. We're starting this episode with a big thank you to everyone who attended the Barefoot Roundtable Conference in May. It was great seeing everyone. And this was our very first outdoor on the beach conference in Clearwater, Florida. And by all accounts, the event was a huge success. But just in case you missed it, here's some highlights. So far it's been great. I love the concept, uh, doing it on the beach. It's been really good. The weather's been awesome. Service station's been so, so forward thinking and coming up with this concept. By far, this, this, this has been the greatest conference, conference we've been to. Um, just being out here, first of all, with everyone that we haven't had an opportunity to be with in a year and a half. Just a different environment, never having an opportunity to do a conference like this. On the beach, beautiful views. Nice breeze. Um, this, this is the best thing I've been to. I love the outdoor environment, the low key, the relaxed setting, beautiful weather, so nicely done. This was a great way to meet during the pandemic and next year we're sure to be back on track with the Barefoot Roundtable once again. It's going to be better than ever, so keep a lookout for more details to come. And now some news from our industry. The good news just keeps rolling in with strong first quarter results. The Heating, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Distributors International, or Hardy, released its monthly TINS report, and last March was up 33%. In fact, according to the report, distributors grew 20% or more in three of the last four months. The plumbing industry is also growing despite some supply chain disruptions. Leading the way was residential storage water heaters growing nearly 25% in April 2021 compared to April 2020. According to Ed Bishop of Wind Supply, the supply chain had several challenges, including truck driver shortages, semiconductor and steel shortages, and even the resin used to produce the foam insulation in water heater tanks has been in short supply. All of this has impacted the distributor's ability to get inventory and fulfill orders on time but an end may be in sight for many of the supply challenges in the plumbing industry. Most manufacturers expect to catch up with the order fulfillment during the second half of the year, so stay tuned for more information on this story. And contractors, listen closely. The biggest residential conference in the nation is set for September. This year, Service World Expo is live and in person. Can you believe it? <laughs> Industry experts and titans will be joining us in Louisville, Kentucky, September 21st through the 24th. Let's take a look at what's ahead. Hold on to your hats because great things are coming. With that much brain power in one place, businesses are sure to grow. So will yours be one of them? I sure hope so. Be sure you register online today at serviceworldexpo.com. And to wrap up Service Nation news, we give you the Tell Me Something Good Guy segment. For those who don't know, this segment is a tribute to the one and only Vicki LaPlante, an essential member of our industry and the Contracting Business Hall of Fame. This episode, we're featuring Tom Peregrino of Daffin Mechanical. Tom created the Widow Program to help members of the community most when they needed it. Take a look at this incredible story. 
Uh, death and mechanical, since we've been around for 20 years, uh, about 10 years into the company, so around 2010, we were rebuilding the company. We were basically starting from scratch. Uh, the original founder and owner of it uh, gave me and my partner an opportunity to buy him out. Well, what we can do by relaunching the company as Daffin Cooling and Heating and starting again, what we'll do is if we come across any widows you know, in the community, we will do their maintenance for free. Uh, we won't, no strings attached. And so in 2011, we started all over again. And anytime we came across a widow, we'd have kind of the, you know, sometimes it was a little uncomfortable conversation. We would say, you know, hey, do you, you know, are, are you a widow? If you are, we have a maintenance program. We'll, we're just gonna take care of you for free. From 2011, and I just checked uh, yesterday, you know, we went from, you know, zero widows that we took care of to now we take care of up to 625 that are part of our ministry behind the scenes. Because we view it as a ministry, we don't advertise it, we don't market it. It's a very quiet way of taking care of the community. And the feedback we get from the widows when they call after the fact, after we do their maintenance, just story after story after story, the cards that we get from our widows. And then for years now, we've included them in our Thanksgiving banquet, where we invite all the widows to our Thanksgiving banquet and serve them food. We raffle off a free system, uh, play bingo, have lots of fun with them. So all that just keeps a spirit within our company of true service. Beyond just being a normal HVAC service company, now we're, we're serving other needs, true human needs that these widows have. It's pretty cool. Wasn't that incredible? Well, thank you so much for watching Service Nation News, your one-stop solution for the latest updates in the industry. I'm Parashan, and I will see you next time.